the Wooden Railway Originals of Thomas and Friends, Episode 135, Jim, Joey, and the Conductor. Thomas the Tank Engine was ill. Workmen had tried to make him better, but it was no use. Edward and James must take you to the works, said Sir Topham Hatt. Thomas felt very miserable. Then, Jim and Joey arrived. And Sir Topham Hatt spoke to them. While your Thomas is at the works, I need you, you to fill in for him, and uh, take your own passengers as well. Yes, sir," said Jim and Joey. The next day. Jim and Joey we were getting ready to do Thomas's work as well as their own. They waited at Tidman Station for Wilbur to arrive with the passenger train filled with, filled, with pa filled with Thomas's passengers and their passengers. And sometimes, times jo Joey gro grows impatient and as the passengers go on board, board, and as soon as the conductor gets ready, ready, he, he, he sometimes rushes Jim, Jim. Oh, come along, said Joey. We're rather late. And Jim says, not, not. Not to rush, I'm coming along, he said. Plus, Jim doesn't mind what Joey says to him because he knows he's Joey's trying to please the top of the hat. And he knows too that if Joey is cross, he's not cross with him. One day they they had to wait for Mark's train, which made Joey very cross. How can we run our line properly? How can we run this line properly if Mark is always late? He doesn't realize the top impact depends on us. Joey blew his horn impatiently. He wanted to leave, but he had to wait for Mark's passengers. At last, Mark came. Where have you been, Lazy Bones? said Joey. Huh, don't blame it on me. I, con I accidentally left a conductor behind, and one of the pass and one of the stupid passengers had pulled the the hold the brick break in one of the coaches and it made me break too. And luckily the conductor came to get on the coach. Second top time I had to stop because I left someone behind. Ah, rubbish, said Joey. You're too slow and lazy. You need exercise. Sir 
soon as the conductor blew the whistle, Jim suddenly said, Joey suddenly gave Jim, Jim a push. Shh. Push. Push. Come on, Jim. We don't have time to wait. Let's go. Wait, what about the conductor? said Jim. And Jim was right. The conductor was waiting on the platform. The botheration! Shen. Jo Joey, stop! We forgot our conductor. But Jim was, but Joey was kept on pushing and didn't listen. Jim tried to apply his brakes, but Joey was too strong. We need our conductor! Yelled Jim. And Joey stopped pushing. Duh, fine, said Joey. Still, we're going to be late anyways. He's... No, there's no need to rush, said Jim. We just need to wait for the conductor. They waited and waited, but the conductor didn't come. Where is the conductor? cried Joey. Don't you remember? We've left him behind. Salt Jim. Then all of a sudden, Joey saw something up ahead. There he was, racing with his lantern, and his flag, and a whistle in the other. He was very hot. So we had a drink and told them all about it. Sorry about um leaving you behind. Joey um can grow a little impatient sometimes. Yeah, yeah said Joey. That's fine, but anyways, now that I'm here, let's make up for lost time. And the conductor climbed aboard Jim. Alright, ready, Joey? said Jim. Ready as I'll ever be, said Joey with a Smile on his face. All right, here we go.
Soon Jim and Joey arrived with, with Thomas and Thomas his passengers as well as theirs. And they soon arrived at Timmons where Wilbert was getting ready to take them home. Made it just in time, said Wilbert. See, said Jim, I told you we weren't going to be late. Late, Joey. Yeah, yeah. As soon as all of, of Thomas's passengers and Jim and Joey's passengers went on board, Wilbert, Wilbert set off. Well done, you two. Two. Since you two have been working hard, hard, despite that you were being, despite that one of you were being a little impatient, you two did a good job today. And anyways, Thomas is about to come back tomorrow. Well, so you can walk, so you two can go back to doing your own jobs. Thank you, sir," said Jim. As Thomas came back, Percy and Toby told him how well Jim and Joey had managed. Thomas was so pleased he soon forgot to be jealous. But that's another story.